All right, in this video, we'll create a net present value profile using Excel. Uh, NPV profile is just graphing the NPV as a function of a range of discount rates. Okay, so let's take this project where we have the years and the cash flows in the column alongside. You can see the initial investment is $50, which takes place in year zero. And then you get $30, $40, $50 cash flows in year one, two, and three, respectively. Okay, let's write down our percentages for the discount rates first. This will be the value for our horizontal axis. We start off by 0% and then we'll increment it by 5% every time. There goes the 0%. And for the next row, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to add 5%. So we have our 5% and now I'm going to copy this formula for all of the rows. All right, now let's move on to the net present value column. We'll use the NPV function. The first input it takes is the discount rate. I'll just select that and I'm going to add a dollar sign in front of the letter I so that I'm fixing the column, but I'll not be doing that in front of the number, which is a row number because we'll be moving across the rows. And now I'll input in the value for the cash flows. Again, I'm going to be adding dollar signs in front of the rows and the columns because the value of the cash flows will remain fixed all the time. Now, the stupid net present value function does not actually net the present values out. It only adds up the present values. So we'll need to add the initial or subtract the initial investment separately. There goes our initial investment. And let me add dollar signs in front of the row and the column variable as well, because this will remain fixed as well. All right, we have our NPV now, and I'll just copy this formula for all the discount rates that we have. We have our data, and now we can select all of it and create a graph. We'll go to insert, recommended charts. I usually use a line graph. And there you go. There we have our NPV profile. You can notice that where the curve crosses the horizontal axis, that is when the net present value is zero, that is our internal rate of return. That's it for this one. This video is one of many in my corporate finance playlist. So do check that out. I'll be uploading most Excel stuff now. Anyway, hope you got around that and I'll see you in the next one.